Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed our channel till now, then please subscribe it. And if you have not watched our previous videos, then watch it. In this video, we will see what is auto wire. What is an auto wire in spring? The spring container can auto wire relationships between collaborating beams without using constructor arc and property elements which helps cut down on the amount of XML configuration you write for a big spring based application. Auto wiring modes. No, it is the default auto wiring mode. It means no auto wiring by default. By name, the by name mode injects the object dependency according to the name of the bean. In such case, property name and bean name must be same. It internally calls setter method. By type, the by type mode injects the object dependency according to type. So property name and bean name can be different. It internally calls setter method. Constructor, the constructor mode injects the dependency by calling the constructor of the class. It calls the constructor having a large number of parameters. Auto detect, it is deprecated since Spring 3. Auto wire using annotation. To enable annotation to need to add context annotation config in the XML file. The auto-wired annotation provides more fine-grained control over where and how the auto-wiring should be accomplished. The auto-wired annotation can be used to the auto-wire bean on the setter method just like required annotation, constructor, a property or methods with arbitrary names and multiple argument. There may be a situation when you created more than one bean of the same type and want to wire only one of them with a property. In such case you can use qualifier annotation along with auto wired to remove the confusion by specifying which exact bean will be wired. Let's implement. Let's copy existing project and to make it simple name as auto wired. Let's copy greeting class and to make it simple name is greeting2. And greeting instead of message change it to greeting2 and generate getter and setter for greeting2. First, we will see how auto wired work using XML. So before that, let's see what is the code without auto wire. Bean is already there for greeting, so let's change it for greeting too. Let's create a new bean for greeting. As I added reference of greeting to and added setter and getter in greeting class. So this time I am doing setter injection for greeting too. Now we need to add a reference to greeting2. That's it for the XML file. Let's add required changes in the application class. Let's add some system out for greeting. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working. Now let's add system out for greeting to also. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working. Both objects having same hash code means it's by default singleton. Let's add a scope for greeting like prototype. Same thing let's copy for greeting to also. Let's run again. See it's working this time you can see both objects have different hash code means creating object every time. Let's see how to use auto wire in XML. Auto wire by name so after that, I don't need the setter injection, so that will take care of auto wire. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working. As you can see there are so many like no, by name, constructor, auto detect, default. Now change it to by type so this time it will auto wire by reference type so this time we are using greeting to class.
Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working fine. Change it to auto detect so auto detect itself explaining. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working fine. Change it to the constructor so now it expects the constructor in the dependent class. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working fine. Same way default also will work. Let's implement auto wired using annotation. So now need to remove auto wire attribute from XML. Let's run and see it's working or not. It's not working now because it's expecting the injected value. Now let's put the auto wired annotation in greeting class because this class is containing the reference of greeting to class. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's not working, because of the need to add contacts namespace in XML and then enable annotation which we added in the last video. Let's use the same. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working fine. Now let's copy dependent bean and change the id from greeting2 to new greeting. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's not working because by default auto wiring is happening by name. So for that need to add one more annotation called qualifier and pass the new name. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's not working. because of the need to change in the main method also from greeting2 to new greeting. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working fine. I hope this video will help you to remember how auto wired works in spring. I hope you like this video then please subscribe our channel.